Welcome to another Bradford food review and today we are trying out Zana Steakhouse. This was commented by this person right here. I don't know how to say his name. Apologize. But yeah, if you have any takeaways or restaurant you want us to go to next and we actually go there, then we will give you a little shout out on the bottom uh, like this person has done. And I know a few guys have commented on other places you wanted to go and we are going through them one by one. But let's see who's picked what and who's picked first. What we're going to do is a little food review all from our own own houses and it's me who's been picked first to go. So here we go. That's what we got there, the mighty chicken fillet. Some spiciness in there somewhere. Somewhere in there. Oh, there we go. You see it there. That dirty non-GB coke. And here we go. Some saucy, saucy chips. And a gundi gundi box. I picked second and I got the Zana's Pla box, which surprisingly only cost £5 and I've never seen a deal like this. It includes a spicy chicken fillet burger, some doner, fries and three wings you can choose whether you want the wings and the burger spicy or normal and it also comes with a drink i've chosen seven up and yeah all this was only five pound always like a lot of takeaways do like boxes and burgers and stuff in there and all for together, five pound all together not not yeah. like this yeah, yeah and then i was third so i uh, picked the uh i don't know if you can see it but uh, i'll pull it up a bit so this is the mixed steak and it can come. It comes with. You can get get it with chips, or you can get it with rice, or you can get it with pita bread as well. So I went for chips. So it's basically beef steak, chicken steak, some salad there. And this is actually probably one of the one of the expensive, I'd say, items on the menu. So it's yeah. eight pound, and it doesn't come with a drink. But I got a drink as well. So I got a vodka mango. I paid for that separately. So yeah. Separate one one pound, I think. Eighty p. Eighty p. So it was uh, eight, eighty for me then in total. So I was the last one to pick and I thought I'd go something different to what I usually get and something I've never tried before from Zana's is the Fatiya meal. What it consists of is um, chicken tandoori, a ton of meat and I'll say cheese. And we'll see how this tastes alongside chips. I covered it with ketchup. As you can see, you get to put your own ketchup on and then I got a little uh, tango orange because everyone else took the other drinks. Alright, so I'm going to try the chicken wings. Start off with the chicken wings. That's delicious. The butter on there is very crispy and uh, it's nice and warm. They make everything fresh. Not just my order, everyone's order. So whenever you order, they make everything fresh. The consistency is uh, really, every time you get, uh, you go there, you, you can expect pretty much very, very uh, nice food every time. This will be the first bite of the burger that I'm gonna have right now. So I'll find a way to hold it. I don't like all this messy business. So let's see what happens. It's already falling apart if I'm honest. I'm going for one more, yeah? That's how it looks inside. That is one bad burger. Cheap and bad. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try my uh, my beef steak. So obviously it's got a bit of caramelised onions on it. In a way, it reminds me of a bit of... You know what? Have you asked for, for the Asian guys out there? So we travel with you know the ghost boat here. In a way it tastes a bit like that. The chicken now. I'm gonna get some chips with it as well. Yeah. I prefer the I prefer the chicken to the than the beef to be honest with you. It's, it's tender, it's got a nice little little masala kind of taste to it. I prefer the chicken more than the beef. Right, let's try out the potato. As you can see, it's it's like a pizza but a kind of like a console a calzone, but it's a lot more cheesier than a, than a pizza would be, I think. The potatoes I used to get, I used to layer with cheese and then cheese on top as well. But I'm not sure how this is done. This looks like a, they just put cheese on the top, as you can see. I'm gonna get through, look. Just, just cheese on one side. That's why it looks like it's got six pieces, no, eight pieces, nine pieces, small nine inch. Cost me about five pound in total for the meal. As you can see, let's taste it. It's actually really nice, you know. The donut meat's not hard or anything. It's not dry. It's nice and soft. You got chicken tandoori pieces in it, which gives it a little spice. I don't like veg, so I never you put veg in. You can mix it up. You get a variety of um, choices you want to put in the fritaya. You got chicken tandoori. You got donut meat, guima, barbecue chicken, peri peri chicken. So you got a mixer 
of what you want to put inside the, the frittata. It's really nice, but I was expecting a lot more cheese, but there's not there's not much cheese, it's just on top. Yeah, so I think they need to put a bit more cheese on it. If it, if it It's like a pizza, really. What I mean right now is it's like a pizza. A frittata is a lot more cheesier, I think. Well, the ones I have got before. But yeah, overall, it's really nice. I enjoy it. They have changed the donut in, I think, a few months ago now, four, four or five months. But before that, it was quite blunt, but now, uh, you know, uh, they have changed it and it has got a nice taste to it. Not too strong. I think it's Turkish donut, isn't it? I think it's Turkish donut. Yeah. But it's not. I've had better. I've had better ones. It's not. Uh, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best. It's not like it's really not, bad. You can bad. eat it. It's nice. If you're hungry, you can eat anything, but yeah. It is it's not, nice. It's nothing bad. Right, the chips. The chips are nice and crunchy and soft as well. I mean, if you like fluffy chips or fluffy fries, as, as I should say, then uh, these chips are, are one for you. They're always cooked nicely. I don't think I've ever got burnt chips from Zana's. I I really, really enjoy the chips. The you can you can knock them back. I'm not lie. You can knock them back. The chips are really nice there, compared to a few other takeaways that are similar to Zana's. But these lot chips are on point. There you go. Some uh, spicy. Uh, God knows what sauce. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, chips, uh, <clears throat> potato tastes a bit weird in it, like, the inside, it's not as fluffy, um, that's because I've been setting up the camera for you guys and seeing how good it look, so food's going to be cold, there's a lot of mayo and ketchup, and no, no ketchup, sorry, just chilli sauce and uh, mayo, I think I just need to eat now, because it's starting to get a bit cold, you know it's nice, just get yourself down to Zana's and eat that stuff up. Forty pounds is actually it's a big portion. Yeah, that's another thing they give you good portion sizes in um, all this stuff meals, burger meals, mm. you know, steaks and stuff like that. And this is this is normal large. It is medium yeah. large. They fill the full thing with the steak. Is yeah, the full the full? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's uh, an extra two pound for that if you wanted that. So you'd be ten paying. pound. I'm gonna give my meal uh, a three and a half out of five. Why? I think number one is quite expensive, eight pounds. Well, it is a big portion, I guess, but I think the it was the beef steak that let it down. To be honest with you, it was a bit salty. You can eat a bit of it, but you, you do get quite sick of it. To be honest with you, the chicken uh, is is better than the beef. So chicken, I would probably recommend the chicken steak and chips, not the mix. And the customer service is always good, as honest. So that's a, a thumbs up from me. So three and a half, I would, I would to be honest, recommend a, a chicken steak and chips. Definitely, definitely, I would uh, recommend it, especially to those that uh, like to eat lo uh, loads of food, have got big stomachs. This is the meal to get. I'm gonna give you a 4.5 out of five because first of all, the food fills you up. I've clocked all of it. Here. All, all of the food fills you up. Yeah, the pricing is reasonable. It's not too expensive. The menu caters for everyone. They got a wide uh, variety of food. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm gonna give you a 4.5 out of 5. My review of Zana Steakhouse is I'm gonna give it 4.5 out of 5. I think the frittier meal was really nice, chips were nice and soft. I'm not a big fan of frittiers as well because it's, it's frittiers are usually so cheesy that it gets sickening after a little while. But this, I think the cheese was just about right, even though I did say that it needs a bit more cheese. But if you're a cheese lover and like you really love a lot of cheese then I think this frittata is right for you but what I usually get from Zana's is the spicy chicken filet burger and I know some of you might disagree with, me, disagree with me over here but I prefer Zana's spicy burger over Salah's yep I said it because Salah's the chips are inconsistent the chips are not nice at all whereas Zana's got nice chips and the burger tastes the same as Salah's. Would you say it's better than Salah's? For the people who know Salah's, what would you say? <laughs> Salah's is nice. This is nice as well. The taste, I think the taste is pretty much the same, isn't it? I think Zana's is much better because the chips, obviously you can with the meal and they complement the burger and Zana's chips are always on point. Mm, mm. They're consistently good. Uh, whereas uh, Salah's, sometimes the chips are nice, sometimes they're not. They're inconsistent and sometimes, you know, you can basically ruin the meal. You can try other stuff, they do a variety of stuff. For their meal, I think you want, I'd recommend that as well. I think I, if you love if you love cheese, 
then uh, go for that. I'd say, I'd say definitely go for a Fratea meal. They do pieces, some nice pieces. But overall, I'd say it's a, it's a, a good place to go to. I, I like going there for the spicy fillet burgers. That's what I usually go for all the time. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 4.5. It was decent, for the price that I paid it was decent, £3, I got a full meal, chips, a nice decent burger and a nice cold drink, I give it a 4 out of 5, just based off the fact that he had it ready for me, as soon as I got there it was all fresh, got home fresh, everything was like, it tasted, it's, they've got a consistent taste, so it's never one day it'll, it'll be bad and the next it'll be alright, it's always, always nice, so, um. Yeah, 4 out of 5 it is for me. Some heavy munch. So this munch has given Zan as a 4.13 from us. And then from Google reviews, which is being taken from the Leeds Road and Duckworth Lane branch together combined. And it's given them a 4.35. Now, average rating, 4.24. Let's see where that takes you on the leaderboard. It's top 3 on our leaderboard. I'm guessing consistency is key. So let's go further down the leaderboard. And Ottomans will be out of this leaderboard because they have closed down, unfortunately. So they are out. Bye. So you've seen the leaderboard and the average rating. So that is the end of the video. So if you've got any takeaways or restaurants you want us to go to, preferably takeaways right now because we're in a pandemic, depending on when this video is uploaded. But yeah, so if you can tell us any takeaways that you, you will love us to review, then we will do. And uh, we'll give you a little shout out as well. So please do like, comment, subscribe. And let us know how we can improve. And what we need to do better. And what videos you want to see. So just comment anything and everything inside your head. Right. And peace.